show the mechanism of labor. So this is the, uh, the fetus inside the mother. So initially, when the fetus is coming down to the uh, pelvic, cavity, uh, pelvic cavity, uh, going down to the uh, downward, the baby is occiput. This is the occiput. Occiput is normally in a transverse, occipital transverse position. So this is going to be the mother right side. So it's the ROD, right occipital transverse. If the, this one is in this side, it will be left occipital transverse position. So the baby will be come into the first stage of labor with the occipital transverse position normally. But some of the fetus, they can be in an occipital and occipital posterior. Re roughly is occipital transverse because transverse diameter, I will show you this one. Hmm? The transverse diameter of the pelvic inlet, this is a pelvic inlet, is the widest diameter, it is about 13 uh, centimeter. The, and the anterior posterior diameter is 11 cm, so it's a, a narrowest area. The oblique is around 12 cm. So when you go for the pelvic outlet, it's the other way around. So this a transverse is around 11, the anterior, anterior and the posterior is about 13, oblique is 12. So mid cavity, it will be all together 12 cm. So that when the baby is going into the pelvic inlet, they will, this, they will be around uh, occipital transverse position. So that this is going to be this way. It's widest diameter. So they can accommodate in the maternal, pel maternal uh, pelvic cavity. So they will go in with the occipital transverse. Then inside the one, the, the moment the baby is hit the pelvic floor muscle, leave it at A9 muscle, they will turn. The, the, the first part is supposing this is the one which should touch the pelvic floor, then they will turn to their occipital anterior position. So the one the baby is born at the second stage of labor, they will be occipital anterior position. If the baby is turned to the other way around, they will be born with the occipital, occipital posterior position, face to pubes, the middle face is to the maternal pelvic uh, symphysic pubic. This is also one of the uh, Delivery um, delivery way of the fetus. Okay, so basic, normally is a common one is a occipital anterior position. Okay, so we go back to the occipital anterior. All right. Okay. So initially like that, that occipital anterior position. So this way is a second stage of labor. So if like that. So in, this is the internal rotation. So first baby will be having the engagement of the fetal head and then the sand after the internal rotation, so this is the internal rotation to the occipital anterior position, that baby will be born by, the, this is the, all are flushing, then born by the extension of the fetal head, so this baby is, so when you are delivering the fetus, um, the one hand is at the maternal perineum, cut the perineum, the one hand is on the cut there, the baby, uh, my mother's uh, symphysic pubic area, so that you're covering, protecting the clitoris, and then try to, hold the baby head, baby head by the flashing so the baby will not be suddenly extended and it will not injure the maternal clitoris and the vestibule and other area. So you try to put the baby head flat position and then this one is on a garden the perineum. Okay, so this is the deliver by extension method, extension. Then after the baby is extension delivered, they will turn to the restitution. So because when you are delivering the head, the baby baby shoulder is stay in the side way. Because initially baby deliver, baby is in the maternal very abdomen, you try cavity this way. So occipital transverse, so this shoulder is that way. But when in the second stage, only the head is done. The shoulder is stay in the lateral position. So after the baby is delivered, baby, the baby will return to the, rest, we call it restitution, to the, according to the shoulder area. So it will be, baby will return. Okay, baby will return. Then uh, this is the uh, restitution, the external rotation of the shoulder. This is the, the external rotation. Then after that, you can deliver the baby by the lateral flashing. So that means that baby, you have to hold the baby, and then you have to deliver the lateral flashing. That is your mechanism of labor. So first, feed the descent, and the flashing of the head engagement, and then you descend more of the feed the head. Then you hit the pelvic floor muscle, then you will be internal rotation from occipital transverse to occipital anterior. Then the baby head, okay, let me show you this way. Okay, so first it will be uh, like this, then it will be flashing, and then the descent of the head, the engagement, and the more descent of the head, then you will, the first part will be hit on there, first 
the band that most the band that part will hit the very floor muscle that it will be occipital transverse to the occipital anterior internal rotation the shoulder will be stay this way then after that baby will be born by extended uh, flesh uh, extension of the fetal head then they will tie to the lateral uh, restitution and the lateral uh, restitution after the external rotation of the shoulder so that at the time you can deliver by the lateral flashing so shoulder dystocia normally happens after, if baby after the extension the baby has to turn the the head has to be turned to restitution and after the external rotation but shoulder dystocia happen in that stage so baby will be after extension they will not be turned so it will be like this only so we call it a neck and then shoulder dystocia happens in that area